What's up guys, Zinigami here. We have most of the details for the new Sugolfest Bash with Timeskip, Luffy, Chopper, Brook, Robin, and Usopp. We don't quite have their 5-star captain abilities, so we're just gonna skim over that part. But let's go over generally what each one of those characters do, just how good they are, and the type of teams you'll see them on in the future. We're also gonna go over 6-star plus Whitebeard. We're gonna go over the new powerhouse Naked Sanji and over the new Colosseum, Gladiuses, and Dalton. So let's go over the non Fest Bash characters first. Let's start with Colosseum Dalton. Colosseum Dalton is a Psy Cerebral Slasher, another Psy Cerebral Slasher. We love our Psy Cerebral Slashers. We don't have max stats for these characters yet. We will have them soon. So by the time you have this video out, you might actually have the actual stats for these characters on the database whenever you check them. His special ability, though, is not that great. His captain ability is two times attack for quick and two times attack for side characters. We just haven't updated the database yet. But his special ability deals 13 times his attack in side damage to one enemy and boosts the attack of side characters by 1.5 times for one turn. So you basically just want to use any other side booster instead of Dalton. You could use uh, you can use Lyre Wolf Usopp, you can use Impact Out Usopp, a classic. You can use Enel even, that a lot of people already have and have pretty easy access to. Versus Coliseum Dalton. Coliseum Dalton's only benefit is that he is from the lower two levels of the Coliseum, so it's pretty easy for you to get him. He's not a Chaos character at all. In fact, he doesn't even have a Chaos difficulty Coliseum. Dalton, not the best. Gladius, however, our new Chaos-only Coliseum character. His captain ability... He is a shooter driven, a strength, strength driven shooter character. His captain ability boosts the attack of driven characters with 1.75, and a driven character with 1.5, shooter characters with 1.75, and a driven shooter by 2.625. Now, there are not that many driven shooters. In fact, there's only uh, five, six? Oh, there's, there's, oh, there's a lot more than I thought there were. Oh, I'm thinking free to play. Oh man, no, there's a lot more. Either way, driven shooters. Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess there are a fair number of driven shooters. You know, a, a good driven shooter is something to make a team out of six driven shooters. Not really something you want to do, so you're not going to see him used as a captain. You can just use a regular 2.5 times shooter captain like Zephyr instead. His special ability, however, deals large strength damage to all enemies, reduces bind and despair duration for two turns, so he has that bind despair remove. Uh, reducer, which is a little nice, and he also boosts the color affinity of shooters by 1.75 times for one turn, which is It's really good. That's really good. He's one of the only two characters that boosts color affinity by 1.75 times the other being raid boss the Kainu uh, So 1.75 times color affinity means for example your dex characters would deal 1.75 times more damage to quick characters and your quick characters would deal 1.75 times more damage to uh, your red characters would deal 1.75 damage to dex characters, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty, pretty good. That's that's like a very, very, very good special ability, especially as a shooter sub. Especially since if you're using a free-to-play shooter team that normally consists of Zephyr, Heracles, and maybe a Golan Han Usopp or, um, a, or a Hancock as your delayer, and then Kizaru as your quick character, you don't really have a good red shooter. And your Gladius here is going to be a perfect red shooter for that team, which is amazing. So Gladius, Coliseum, very, very good character. Highly recommend you get him and max him out. We have Sanji from the Rayleigh shop. Sanji boosts the attack of Powerhouse by 2.5, which is a very good captain ability. But his special is a little lacking. Changes his own orb into Int and reduces cooldown of Powerhouse characters by one turn. Now it is a six turn cooldown, which means it's pretty short. But powerhouse characters don't have many things that reduce cooldown, so you can't really like sit there and reduce cooldowns a lot. And you generally just rather would have something a special that deals damage or boosts damage or something like that instead of a cooldown reduced by one turn. So if you're looking for a powerhouse captain, he can do. But if you're trying to use him as sub, yeah, you don't really need him. And then six plus Whitebeard is absolutely insane. Now there are some people out there that are disappointed in Whitebeard somehow because he's not as ridiculously overpowered as a Gainu and I'm going to bring up a Gainu because a Gainu six star character is yeah he's bad he's bad design character he's so bad oh god he's so bad in that he's way too powerful and makes things way too easy but yeah Whitebeard 
he all Whitebeard himself already could basically beat everything in the game. There's only maybe like five or six things he can't beat. But now, instead of just doing nothing above 30% health, above 30% health, you now get a 1.75 times attack boost. You also get a small health boost. We don't know what that small health boost is going to be. Either probably 1.25 or 1.5 times health. I would bet on 1.25 times health boost. So a small health boost, a 1.75 times attack, above 30% health and below 30% health, you still have your 3 times attack. So 1.75 times attack is more than enough to have your Whitebeard consistently get through stage 1 of fights, which is usually where you had your Whitebeard getting in trouble anyways. The Whitebeard team would probably die if you messed up turn 1, but now you can easily get through turn 1, which means Whitebeard is a piece of cake. Not only that, his special was also upgraded. Instead of just cutting health by 30%, he now also reduces spec cooldowns of all specials by one turn and randomizes non-matching orbs so you get to keep your matching orbs and you get to shuffle any non-matching orbs including block slash bother orbs whatever you want to call it so bomb block bother orbs those are all random you get another chance of getting a matching orb on them and reduces cooldowns by one turn can be quite nice especially on things that uh, for example anything that rewinds your team you can now use Whitebeard to wind those teams back Wind those cooldowns back and ready to go. To wipe your amazingly good, stupid good. We can get his evolvers from the Rayleigh shop or the Whitebeard invasion or the Shanks invasion starting on the 31st. So now let's get to the actual Sugofest characters, right? The characters I know you're all dying to know about. So, time skip Chopper is going to be first. His captain ability for the 4 star version, remember these are the 4 star captain abilities, the 5 star version is going to be a little bit better, but we don't know how it's going to be better. He's going to boost the attack of powerhouse characters, but also reduce recovery to 0. Now you can expect on his evolved version, is probably going to be a bigger powerhouse boost, maybe a small health boost or something like that. And so it's, a, it's an okay captain ability. Reduces Cruz recovery to zero is something you might already have on a powerhouse team, especially if you match him up with a Rob Lucci friend captain. So you're not gonna have power, uh, you're not gonna have recovery on either of those teams, anyways. His special ability reduces damage reduction and increased defense duration by three turns. Now these are the rainbow shield buff that enemies will have and the blue shield buff that enemies will have. So if for example on Enel Raid, Enel has a three turn reduces damage received by 50%. Rainbow Shield, if you use Chopper Special, it will completely get rid of that uh, buff. So you can burst down the Nell on turn 1 with new Chopper. He also deals large damage to all enemies. But one, one probably the coolest thing about the new Chopper is Chopper is a red fighter powerhouse character. And his Sailor ability, which remember is always active if the character is not your captain, is if you have a red orb on Chopper and you hit a perfect, you will keep that orb and use it again next turn. So as soon as you get one red orb on Chopper, if you keep hitting a perfect on Chopper, you're going to get a matching orb every single turn, which is really good. Like, that's so good. As long as you don't mess up your perfect, Chopper will keep his red orb again and again and again and again forever. Who needs orb manipulators when well, you just hit perfects and keep them all forever? And what... Uh, you know, as a power, as an actual stat stick, we're gonna need to know all these characters' stats, which we won't know until the Sugo Fest actually comes out, which is on the first. We have Time Skip Brook, which, oh, looky here, we have our very first actually good Brook. It's not a Brook that's like, eh, I mean, Brook's okay. This is this is okay Brook. This is actually a good Brook. We have a good Brook for once. So Brook. His captain ability is a zombie captain ability. Let's, uh, you know, another zombie captain ability, whatever. We'll see what his zombie captain ability is. If he has a fun twist to his captain ability. His sailor ability completely resists paralysis. So no worries about paralysis there. And his special delays for one turn. And boosts the attack of slasher and free spirit characters by 1.75 times for one turn. Now for free spirit characters, there are a lot of things that boost by 1.75 times for one turn. For example, the Int Ace boosts by 1.75 times, a Poo boosts by 1.75 times, there are a bunch of things that boost by 1.75 times. But the slasher 1.75 times attack is very nice too because the only other way to get a, a big slasher attack boost is 6 star Zoro. Or, or, or rare crew Zoros, so the Zoros are the only ways to get that slasher attack boost. But now we have a Brook that can do it, which is 
pretty cool. So delaying and a big damage boost, super, 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 super. Then we have Time Skip Robin. A lot of people have been really hyped about Time Skip Robin, and I won't lie, she's pretty good. Robin's captain ability boosts the attack of decks and side characters and boosts their recovery. Once again, these numbers will probably go up, but not a captain ability you'll probably see used that much. Her sailor ability reduces duration of blind by three turns, which is nice for stalling, but blind usually isn't something you see on short duration, so you're gonna get it for like five turns if you're fighting one of those red bazooka marines and he blinds you for about five turns or you get something that blinds for like 99 turns so that sailor ability is okay her special though reduces despair duration by three turns and boosts the attack of decks and side characters by two times for one turn so this is probably going to be just a straight upgrade to impact out usopp and to I yeah impact on Usopp and to fat Usopp both of which are two times attack boosters for Psy and a 1.75 times attack booster for Dex so our new biggest Dex attack booster and a Psy booster and a despair reducer so times get Robin pretty good but what I am most excited about of the non six star characters is the new time skip Usopp Oh my goodness, Time Skip Usopp, I dare say, might be a little bit overpowered. He is a Psy Shooter, no second class, he's just a shooter. His Captain Ability boosts attack of shooters and their recovery, useless Captain Ability. His Sailor Ability, when your health is low, probably below 30%, he'll boost the attack and recovery of shooters by 100, a nice, nice attack and recovery boost. It's basically like you put 50 cotton candies on all of your characters. And his special ability, oh his special ability, deals 10 hits of 2000 fixed damage, which will help you get past combo barriers and things with high defense, but most importantly, boosts the attack of shooters against enemies with delay protection, which may also be just general debuff protection, we're not quite sure which one it is, if it's just delay or general debuff protection, we're going to have to check it by 1.75 times and amplifies the effects of the orbs by 1.75 times for one turn. So he's an orb booster for shooter characters, he is a conditional attack booster for shooter characters, and he's a 1.75 times conditional attack booster. Now you can't really choose to apply the condition, you have to let the enemy apply that debuff protection condition, but there are a lot of things with debuff protection, and if you can't use Golem Pound Usopp, you can use this Usopp instead. So if, they, if you can't delay him, just kill them, because 1.75 times, if it's a conditional attack booster like we are pretty sure it is, that means it will also stack with, um, it will also stack with type boosters like Zephyr, and will stack with or boosters like Doflamingo or with, or Frankie, or the, uh, and it'll also stack with affinity boosts like the Gladius, so just ridiculous, ridiculous combos you can get on a shooter team. And time skip Usopp's only weakness probably is that he is a Psy shooter. Uh, there are a lot of good Psy shooters that you want to stick on a team like Heracles and Golden Pound Usopp, Hancock, uh, Six Star, Kizaru. All these are very, very good Psy shooters. And Usopp, kind of funny for that highly coveted Psy shooter slot. If he were like a blue or a red shooter that don't have as many good ones, I would probably think he's even better. But still then, that conditional attack and orb boost, oh, so amazing, man. So probably my favorite one out of this batch. And then last but not least, we have Time Skip Luffy, our new six star Luffy. We, these are just dummy values. These are not his actual stats, but we just have them in there so that we can use them in a damage calculator. He is a quick fighter free spirit character. His captain ability boosts the attack of free spirit characters by 2.5 and reduces damage received by 15%. If you use his special, then he'll, instead of boosting by 2.5, or boost by 4 times instead. Uh, and now, this is like a Cavendish style captain ability. So, it's like a mix of Cavendish and 6 star Kizaru. So if you have 2 time skip Luffy captains, if you use only one of their specials, only that special will become four times, but you can use both Luffy specials on the same turn. So if you have two time skip Luffy's, use one special, use the other special, and then they will both get four times attack, which means you get a total of 16 times attack boost for all your free spirit characters. 
Yeah, that's it's 16 times attack for all free spirit characters for three turns because his special deals large quick damage to one enemy. How much that is, we'll find out later. He makes quick decks and psi orbs count as beneficial orbs for three turns. And for those three turns, you will have that four times attack boost. So if you have two six star Luffy's, you use both six star Luffy's specials, you get Quick decks and side orbs count as matching for three turns, and you get 16 times attack for three turns. Now let's go to the damage calculator and see just how crazy he is. So, uh, Luffy's captain ability. This is a this is probably the best team that we can have him set up with. And uh, this is double time skip Luffy. Now, one thing to note in the damage calculator is right now if you turn on one time skip Luffy special. It will think that both times get Luffy specials are on. So you have to turn on, just pretend like if you're turning on one, you're turning on both. So there's no way for you to uh, just turn on one times get Luffy and not the other one, the way that the damage calculator is working right now. We might get that fixed in the future, but for now, just assume that if you have a times get Luffy, you have to turn on both your specials and make sure you are calculating around that. Uh, so times get Luffy. Double time skip Luffy Hancock to set us our chain multiplier of 2.5. Sabo on his second turn or second stage, two times attack boost for free spirit characters. Shanks for a two times or matching boost for free spirit characters. And Senior Pink for a 1.5 times affinity boost for free spirit characters. And that means you get up to about 14 million damage, which is pretty nice. Now, 14 million damage seems pretty insane, right? I mean, like, that's a lot of damage. However, uh, these, like, Hancock is a two-turn special, Shanks is a one-turn special, Sabo is one-turn, uh, Senior Pink is one-turn, so this, is, this isn't this is stable. Uh, this isn't, like, damage over multiple turns, and that's not, like, the highest damage we've seen before. We've gotten teams like the Legend Zoro teams. Legend Zoro teams can get higher damage off because they have, a uh, they get color affinity and stuff matched together. So use Zoro special, Dofi special, Mulunga special, Hancock, and Tashiki specials. You've got like 16 million damage there with a double Zoro team. You've got, uh, we got a Gainu team. This is the highest damage a Gainu team that we can think of right now. This one is a uh, Aladdin just saying it's a Gainu team. Turn on special, 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 special. And you've got 21.4 million damage there. You've got teams like the uh, six star Alkiji team, which turn on all their specials and assuming that they have a defense boost up can do 15.9 million damage. So uh, a lot of people crying about six star Luffy already being overpowered and I wouldn't say he's overpowered. I would say that he is definitely going to break free spirit characters in line with how good we want free spirit characters to be. Did I forget to turn something on here? Oh, Sabo on stage two, there we go. So I would say he probably brings free spirit characters in range of how good we want free spirit characters to be. He's a really, he's the best free spirit captain for sure. 2.5 times attack guaranteed, reduce your damage taken. He also makes, uh, helps you get better matching orbs. Now, if you have a quick Psy or Dex character, they now have a three out of seven chance of getting a matching orb. Because there are seven different orbs you can get. You can get the main different colors. That's red, green, blue, yellow, purple. You can also get tandem and recovery orbs. We're not going to include bomb orbs and stuff for the purpose of this exercise. So you can get seven different uh, orbs. You now have three out of those seven as matching orbs. And if you have, for example, a purple character, you now have a four out of seven as um, a boost. You can switch out with law. You can throw in Law in right here. Remember, the damage calculator is online. You feel free to play with it. Uh, your damage does go down a bit. Your damage goes down quite a bit because Law doesn't really give you a, uh, a damage that helps. And Law's attack goes up to four times, but it's not the solid four times like Luffy. So Law, you, know, like he's, you just drop your damage a lot. So Luffy is the best damage. Not, uh, over, not the most consistent uh, for the big, big burst turn, but it is three turns of really, really high damage. And if you want to see what it's like with a well, with one Luffy on and one Luffy off, then just swap that. Then you can swap this for um, like Ivankov. Or you can swap it for the other Luffy. 
uh, which we haven't put. You can put it in Unevolved Luffy or like Ivanka, which is a 2.5 times free spirit captain. And just pretend like that is six star Luffy. And this is what it looked like if you use one Luffy special, but not the other Luffy special. So this is a four times attack captain. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. There we go. A four times attack captain and a two times attack captain boost. So it looks something like that. Actually, let me try out that law again. Let me make sure I did law right. Law. Okay, there we go. There's law's damage. Not as, not as big of a, a dip as I took. Because uh, the other Luffy was the one with the special one. So there's, there's law's actual damage. So... Six star Luffy, very, very good free spirit captain. Probably the best free spirit captain we have so far. I would not put him as overpowered like Akainu is. I still am of the firm opinion that Akainu is a mistake and they should not have made Akainu as strong as he is. But pretty good. But pretty good, especially if it's going to help out free spirit teams. And uh, maybe whenever six star plus Sabo comes around. Maybe we'll get some nicer Sabo boosts and stuff like that. Some easier to use boosts. Maybe a boost that doesn't require us to hit all perfects. That way we accidentally kill stuff on stage 4 so we don't actually hit all perfects. Cough, cough, cough. Also forgot to mention, if you're using 6 star Luffy, you can use Kondro as one of your subs. Kondro, a Psy Free Spirit Striker character. Kondro Special makes strength uh, red, blue, green, purple, and yellow orbs into matching orbs and any other orbs, recovery tandem, MTG, and bomb orbs into badly matching orbs. But what this does mean that if you use, for example, Kondro and Six Star Luffy specials at the same time, so you have Kondro special to manipulate your orbs, Six Star Luffy's chance to uh, making or making blue, yellow, and green orbs into beneficial orbs for red, blue, or right, for yeah, for red, blue, and purple characters. No matter what orb they have, you are guaranteed to have a matching orb. So if they have a green orb, if they have a blue orb, if they have a tandem orb, if they have a bomb orb, if they have a recovery orb, those will all become matching orbs. And if you have a dex or a side character, five out of seven times, not including MTG and bomb orbs. So if, you, if they have five of the seven things you could normally get, you will have matching orbs on these characters. So Kondro plus Six Star Luffy is basically... Guaranteed matching orbs for all of your free spirit characters, which is pretty nice So Kondro is gonna be a very 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 useful sub if you're using six star Luffy as a free spirit captain guys I've been seeing I mean, thank you so much for watching Good night, and y'all stay beautiful